I this is the demo of the Tinder like app by appscript.com. It's called Datum. Start the app. We have the sliding demo screens like what you find on Tinder. We do a registration. We have a different feature here which Tinder does not have. We allow users to create a custom login. I'm going to create a login for one of the guys from my team. So there we go. Put in his email and password. Make sure he's over 18 years old because the app has a check for that. So I do that. Put in a password. And there we go. Make sure the password is the same. We have the terms and conditions and end user license agreement. I go in here, upload a photo, choose a photo from my gallery, make that my profile photo. Complete my registration. Oh, okay. Complete my registration now. We have a default option of recording a video. So there we go. I just record this video. All right, I'm done with that. I make this my profile video. Tinder does not have an option of creating a profile video. So that again is a feature which we've added on our product and it's an add-on. So you can see the price and details on our website. We have the preferences page here, which are the, which are the default preferences which are set up currently. We have an option on our admin panel to create new preferences like the one we have here, which is weight. On Tinder, you would just find gender, distance and age. And we have now added an option called weight. And if you need more, you can go into the admin and create some more. So go in there. Again, here you would find a feature which you would not find on Tinder. We have an option of viewing profiles in a grid. You could probably see this on the Grinder app. And we have the option of seeing the profiles in the card. This is more like Tinder. So we can swipe left to unlike and swipe right to like. So you can see this. Left is unlike. Right is like left to unliked all right go in here i can go edit my profile i can add more photos i can add photos from gallery from camera and from facebook so let me choose gallery let me add a new photo so i've got that in here i save that photo save that photo add some details about myself Save that in here. I'll show you another way in which we can log into the app now. So let me get out of the app. And do the login just like how it's on Tinder with Facebook. Go in here. I log in with Facebook. My profile is already saved. So it, it would pick up my details from Facebook. You can see my photo from which is also there on my Facebook profile. I can set up my discovery preferences. We have the passport feature like on Tinder. This is a paid feature. We have also added in-app purchases here. So if you want, you can choose the 12 month subscription, six month subscription and three month subscription. The paid features on our app are recent visitors. So this has to be, if you want to see all your recent visitors, you have to buy the paid version. We also have another version, which is a super like super like feature, which again is a paid version. So you can see all the people who have super liked you. So let me go pick up one of the paid versions. So I'm I'm looking to buy the three month subscription. So I'm just waiting for the app store to confirm my purchase. So all right, so I'll confirm the purchase. Just entered my purchase details. I look for that. Buy is an option. So I've now bought the subscription. The app has confirmed that. If I go in here, I can see my recent visitors. So I've, I, I see here that is a there's a girl by the name of Natalie who's liked my profile and she's seen it ten times. So this is a great feature to have on the app because you can now, you know, see the people who have liked you and increase the probability of getting matched. So I can go in there and see Natalie's profile. I go back, I can even see if anyone super liked me and that, you know, those would be people who would be more interested in me. So I see that she hasn't super liked me yet. 
oh wow but i just got a notification that you know someone is super like me so let me go check it out so wow so i see that natalie is actually super like me so so for now i i mean this confirms that she's really interested in me so i can go in there and like her back and as soon as i like her back we just get a new match so so now natalie and i are matched if i go to my, if i go back to my matches screen and look for my matches i find natalie here i can start a chat with her so i can say hey natalie and i can just wait for her to reply back so she just responded back to me so i can go in there and see what she said she says hey so i can go and say okay check out my photo and i go in there and upload a photo and let's see if she sends her photo back so this chat is it's, it's completely real time it's built on socket.io and node.js so it's fully real time it's fully proprietary it's very very fast right so i'm just waiting for her to, and you can send and receive messages this again is a feature which tinder does not have we can actually exchange images with people in the chat so you can see here that natty just sent me one of her photos so this is another feature this is the chat the real time chat feature on our tinder clone i go in here i can change my location i can add a new location here let me add a new city and see if i can find interested interesting people in that city so i look for i look for chennai i save that and these are all the people in chennai who i can find i mean these are all the profiles which are there in chennai which are available for me to like and which also match my preferences so i've covered that feature as well and um, there it is there it is so you can see i've bought my 3 month subscription so that's shown over here and yeah so i go into my profile and i can find all the friends who are also using the same app i can also see all my interests right here i can look for any match and get in there and see their profile and see if they are of any interest to me i can super like them i can also report them which is again a important feature for apple and i can change my location i can go back to my current location and look for people here and we have an option of seeing videos of people this again is a new feature which tinder does not have and we have so we can see a real time video this is a small video grab of our office you know some guys in my team so that is an option i can go in here i can also we also have other features in the chat for blocking a particular user for reporting a user or for getting unmatched with the user so these are all the features on our data map and as you see we have a lot of features which tinder does not have hope you like the demo thank you